Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we are going to play some more, uh, <clears throat> uh, whatever the hell this is, Football Manager, obviously, right? Kind of weird. Always announcing that. Um, but anyhow, uh, things, first things first here. Um, you may have noticed uh, over the uh, other, uh, well, I guess the other two matches, was it? Um, there were uh, there were some audio glitches. Um, basically, it, with the capture card that I had, for whatever reason, the settings that they were set on, I had to go dick around with them and turn something off so that it wouldn't drop out. Like the audio would just drop out and come back. Like I said, if you've watched the um, the other two videos, you've seen that in effect already um uh however i think i think i fixed it i think um i did test it a bunch was it last night i was up pretty late last night testing it and all that good stuff so i think like i said i think i've got it figured out if so this episode will go to air if not then i'm gonna go obviously go give it another try and and all that good stuff and maybe a bit of a bit more of a delay than there already has been so far um in terms of getting episodes up so anyway um there are a couple updates um i, I believe i think i think there's a couple updates because i think it kind of hit the campaign trail kind of hard and went and looked for some more players um johannes harala is one of them i went and picked him up uh, i signed him from another team um, I think Ramasha or Ramasaho, uh, as well. I keep wanting to call him Ramasaho. I don't freaking know why. Um, I think that's it. I may, I may be wrong, but I think those are the only two that I've added in between the last match and now. Um, now our opponent is OLS. Another, you see the, well, you probably, probably can barely see it unless you have your thing, like, maximized here, but, uh, um, you see how the text is a little different color on OLS and Halpa here? Those are our, um, feeder clubs. Or affiliated clubs. I think mean, it'll be the same color. It might be different for a, for a parent club. But we don't have a parent club as of yet. And this is obviously us here. So, um, we've done, like, what, a whirlwind tour of, of all of our feeder clubs here in the, um, the Finnish Cup. Uh, so we're gonna get started on that it is just a single elimination knockout round they do have an interesting formation this is very similar to the one that i've been working on but um but it's just a little different but anyhow because it's the, the these guys are wider on ours but um anyhow i think i have the team selection and everything all set to go yeah i do so um we're just gonna go ahead and oh who needs a number oh phew. all right whatever here take number 25 because i don't care but anyway um uh i did i did end up uh half uh simming this match actually and just not saving just to have something to to test the sound on and all that stuff a couple times and uh I did, I I did come away with pretty convincing wins, so I expect us to walk away with this here. Um, as long as we don't, you know, nothing catastrophic happens. I don't think. I think we should win this one fairly easy. Of course, now that I say that, I'm probably gonna have to eat my words and take a big ass kicking. But it it is what it is, I suppose. Um, I'm not forgetting anything here. I don't think. I don't think I went after these guys oh uh, i should i should mention what i'm actually doing here i don't think i've actually said anything about this yet so i was just kind of jumping into it and just kind of getting our episode started um just kind of trying to get a hold on things what i'm doing here fuck i may have said this but i don't remember anyway we're gonna go over it again um what i'm doing here is i'm, I'm marking the positions to to basically uh close them down defensively um and these you can put uh, individual for that specific player in case you want a specific player to go do this or a specific player to go do that. Um, I do actually, you know what, I think I need to go check because the assistant manager, you know what, I, do we even have an assistant manager? Because the coaching stuff's all fucked up. I need to get around to that. But um, 
uh, usually the assistant manager will handle all these, like the player specific ones, because they've scouted the players and they know what to do, which is fine. I usually let that go ahead and, and, and go, but I usually close down specific um, positions. Uh, usually always a striker um, for obvious reasons. Probably not the smartest thing, but eh, whatever. But I usually close down the uh, attacking midfielders that there's a central one and wide players. Since they don't have any wide players like our formation, we're going to close down the two central attacking midfielders. I don't think they have any wide players. I think, those, I think this is what I did last time. I'm pretty sure it's been a couple days actually since I didn't, didn't do this. But anyhow, um, no boy. Um... There you go. Let's just try and light a fire under their asses and stuff like that. So, um, uh, yeah. Um, I don't really have much else to talk about here other than the shit that I've already updated you on. Um, I guess, uh, looking forward, I guess I do that a lot, obviously. I kind of give you the plan, so to speak. Um, we are gonna have, we are gonna continue this with this 4-3-3 that I have set up. Um, for the reason being, uh, it's gonna be, it's been the most effective. I tried the other, the other formation in our friendlies in between the the matches I've recorded, and defensively, it isn't where I want it to be. It, it leaks goals pretty, pretty sadly. Um, and and. Uh, I did see I did see like a midfield di uh, diamond formation too the other day, um, which I might end up trying, but um, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I mean I may I may dump that uh, four two three one that we got that the club started with. I may end up dumping that, especially if we get you know a, a good run of performances here. Um, and, and put ourselves up in the up uh, on the top of the table. Speaking of um, the league matches, which we haven't started yet, but um, I expect to have a pretty good season. Um, I would be, you know, it just, just isn't me being overconfident or anything like that. But I suspect we'll be we'll be in a good position to potentially win this league in the first season. Usually. Um, I mean, my, my honest opinion, I think you need at least a good three seasons to implement everything that you want to implement. God damn it. Did not need an injury because we do not have do not have anything for left back, honestly. Um, fuck. I don't even think I have anything. I don't think, I'm pretty sure I don't even have anyone really on the roster. <sighs> fuck. God damn it. So I just have to put you out there. Do we have... Oh, we got Heighten and who's... We want to do this. I'm going to switch this up a little bit. How you play out there. And then we'll go with that. And I got to play him back there, Hagblom, today because of uh, another fucking defender out. But anyway, um... As I was saying, I, I honestly believe that it's you know it's it's takes a good three seasons for you to get your shit straight, um, and so uh, I I usually don't expect much the first season or two. I mean, it's it's usually what you you do if you pick a bottom club. You know, you want to set the lowest expectations that you can, and um, at least with the board anyway. I mean, I have my own set of expectations, and the board has theirs. I I suppose. Um, which ours are, I, I did shoot as low as possible, our expectations. And I'm going to have to, I need to make sure I record this. Because this is kind of important to how you run the club and all that good shit. And, you know, if you're a storyline, whatever you want to call it. But, ooh, Jesus, that should have been a goal. But, um, yeah, we're really fucking lacking over there in the left flank. But anyhow, um... Oh, uh, where was I? Ah, expectations. Yeah, our expectations are to just finish in the top half of the table, which is just, you know, in the top six, basically. Uh, like I said, I expect to finish. I think we can easily finish in the top three, like I said. Judging by the players that we have and the performances that we've had and the, um, the, the fact that we are, by default, one of the better clubs in the... the 
was it the first division or whatever um i, I think that's that's gonna that yeah, bodes well for us i guess is what i'm trying to say because i think that then gives us the opportunity to to exceed expectations and and hopefully uh win this league that's what i hope which means though if we do win the league this season next season will be terrible it'll be the worst season the most frustrating and quite honestly a shit ton of a shit ton of shit it'll be a terrible downer um but uh you know it's i guess and that, that is kind of one of those necessary evils that's a nice tantalizing cross oh please 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 thank you um that sounds a good goal oh also uh one of the things we need to go get and um we need another central defender for sure and we need a uh we need another we need a second striker if we're gonna run that midfield diamond formation that i kind of want to run we need a second a second quality strike i mean we've got players who can fill in you know and play up there but no natural strikers um also one thing is since i haven't played with a pair of strikers in good god forever um shit it was fm12 the last time i played with a pair of strikers so i don't even know because this game is a little bit different the um the individual roles that you have everyone playing as are are really matter a lot more they're really they really impact the game a lot more um like if our if i were to change you know forever or forever the for example our our um our uh oh geez our fullbacks these guys on the back line here in the corners you know if i were to change them to you know limited fullbacks or just uh, have their role as fullbacks instead of playing as complete wing backs you would see them not get forward hardly at all um and not really support much in the attack but since i've you know changed the formation up a bit and and stuff in this well the current iteration of it which is working pretty well i have to admit i think this formation has worked pretty well for for what i've tried to run now fuck. should i i want to i want to sub out hagblom but you know i might just have to leave him in and just let him suffer through it Mm. All right. Um. Oh shit. Where was I? Uh. But yeah, I, like I said, I think the way the roles that I have everyone playing in 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 this formation right now have, like I said, probably not the best, but they've yielded fairly fairly good results. Well, not not fairly good, really good results, at least in my opinion. Um. But. You know, it's everything else is going to be like a work in pro process, and and you know, it'll be fun. I mean, like I said, I I like this sort of shit, and this sort of shit interests the hell out of me. So, you know, there you go, Heightenen. That was an awkward little um cross field pass, but yeah, as you see here, look like with Granholm, uh, if he wasn't a you know a complete wing back, he wouldn't be he wouldn't be carrying on in this channel just like him up here as was a heightening yeah he wouldn't be carrying or running down that way and in, in support of, of the wingers but um you know so the, that is one area too that it used to be in my formations Ooh, in my formations that used to be an area that was really important i mean if i didn't have good wing backs you know they wouldn't it, it, the formation would be really tough, but that was when I played a five-three-two, and and now of course you know, with a five-three-two, you depend on those wingers though, those uh, those wing backs to be um, to be the width in your formation and to be to be attacking on the edge. Oh, that's not good. But um, you know, it's it's it should work out pretty well, I think. Even with these with these players, um, and oh, well, not really even with these players, but because of these players, like I said, we've got oh god damn it, really. Now our fucking striker has gone down. I hate fucking matches like this. This is one thing. This is one thing you'll see. There's nothing more frustrating 
seriously. There's nothing more frustrating than winning a game, you know, albeit by some ease, but having a shit ton of players get injured. And quite honestly, the thing that I hate the most is not being able to to change. I know it happens. I get it. It's realistic, sure, whatever. But I hate not being able to use my substitutions how I want to use them. Now, I was probably going to sub off Lanal anyway, but you know, now having to deal with that injury. And I guess I should backtrack and say, hey, if we didn't uh, if we didn't run into a fucking slew of injuries like we are right now, we would most likely uh, tear through the league and, and win it with not really ease, but, you know, be, be in a good position to walk away with it. Oh, Jesus. By the way, when it skips ahead to the next highlight there, and it just takes, it just keeps going and going and going, and it scares the hell out of me. I mean, quite honestly, I mean, the way the way it is now, like you see about twenty minutes. Oh my! You see about twenty minutes of uh of match time, give or take. That's what this this episode is going to end up being. It's about twenty minutes. But um, you know, and uh, like I said, these matches like these are frustrating. You know, I mean, it's just, to get out with a win, that's great, but, shit, that was, oh, good save. He shot that a little early, I think, but, and it's a good thing it wasn't any better, because he could have easily chipped the keeper right there, since he came out quite, quite far, but, um, yeah, and see, this is like, this is where, um, this is why I usually go for for depth and all that shit too because like early going you really want to just get you just really want to get going in this game you just want to get up to the next level you want to get up to professional status you know like we need to be as quickly as possible because you know obviously if you don't then you're going to be spending you know 10 years just muddling around and you know not really not really contending for anything important and you know as much as I love the game and I love football I really do but you know it you know when it just for the amount of playing time i guess what is what i'm saying and the work that you put into this game and, and to really have it be for very little for you know small chips if you will instead of playing with big money but you know it's it, it's a little frustrating i mean yeah i'm i'm okay with even getting you know knocked out in early rounds and stuff in the champions league but you know, as long as you get to that point where you can play in it, you know, regularly, that really that really speeds up the process in this in this game. I don't like how we've given up fucking possession though, but they've been a very physical team. At least a little bit more so. Yeah, but eh, and we've been I mean, we've been honestly pretty poor. We haven't fucking done much. These are like those matches that kind of. Uh, do you just kind of it's like you're, you're you're like running through fucking mud I hate it I hate these sort of matches I mean the only saving grace right now is the fact that we haven't conceded a goal yet yet I mean we still got three minutes at a time which can God sometimes in this game Jesus they just like to drag that shit out. And that's why we have the complete wing backs right there, so Granholm can come in and oh, can come in and support the ball like that. And if the cross was just a little bit better, we had two players. He should have probably left that short for Makala, and then we would have been we'd have had at least a chance on goal. But and what is Nermela doing over there? Why is he so high up the pitch? He needs to be back. Oh Jesus. Okay, good. For a second there, I was getting a little scared that this would be this would be some freak bullshit red card to make things worse. And this will be this is by this is if anything an ugly win. This is by no means an attractive looking performance. At least not not compared to the other two games we had offensively. Oh, you should have. Hmm. But um 
Come on, let's just... Ugh. Clear it, just clear it. Just clear it. There you go. You cleared it to a... Oh, 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 oh. You're not gonna do anything with it, because you suck. You suck. But what's funny, though, is you'll see a lot of matches that'll be the same way. It doesn't matter how good of players you have. It'll just still be piss poor like this from some time. From some time? From time to time. Which I don't, like I said, I... I'm gonna be mean. I'm gonna be mean. So I mean, I, I, like I said, I expect a certain level of, of performance. And honestly, this team, you know, has responded pretty well to demanding, um, you know, I guess professionalism of them. So, um, you know, every, every, it, they're not gonna get too pissed off at me. I don't think. But anyhow, um. That about does it for this episode. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional. <laughs>